Hello, my name is Travis Monk. This is one of a series of videos involving cellular reproduction. This video will provide an overview of the cell cycle, which is the series of events that includes, precedes, and follows the division of a cell. The picture on this slide shows the different stages of the cell cycle that will be emphasized in this video. The cell cycle is the life cycle of the cell, which are all the events that occur between the time that one cell is formed and when it reproduces. The cell cycle is a continuous series of events, even though it can sometimes look like the cell is inactive at times. There are two main phases of the cell cycle, and those are interphase and the mitotic phase. The mitotic phase is when the cell divides, while interphase would include everything else leading up and following the cell's division. The emphasis in this video will be interphase, all of the events of the cell cycle except when the cell is undergoing division. There are two separate videos on events that would happen during the mitotic phase. Interphase is, by far, the longest portion of the cell cycle. During this phase, DNA is in an uncondensed form called chromatin. While the cell may not look like it is very active during interphase, there are many important events that occur during this stage. Interphase can be broken down into four substages that will be described throughout the rest of this video. These stages are abbreviated as the G1, S, G2, and G0 phases. When a cell just divides, half of the material that was in the original cell is split between two newly formed cells. As a result, these newly formed cells are quite small in size. The first stage that occurs after a new cell is formed is referred to as the G1, or GAP1 phase. The purpose of this stage is to allow the newly formed cell to grow back to its normal size and replenish what was lost during cell division. When a cell divides, as mentioned on the previous slide, all the components of the one original cell end up in two newly formed cells. This would include half of the cell's DNA. If the amount of DNA were to be cut in half every generation, very soon cells would have almost no DNA. To begin with the same amount of genetic information every generation, cells undergo the second phase of interphase, which is referred to as the S, or synthesis phase, to prepare to divide again. The word synthesis means to make, and during this phase, a copy of the cell's DNA is made. For complex organisms, such as humans, there is a tremendous amount of DNA to copy, and as a result, this stage can take a very long time to complete. The third and final phase of the cell cycle is the G2, or GAP2 phase. This stage, like the S phase, prepares a cell to divide again. During the second GAP phase, the cell produces additional organelles so that each newly formed cell after a cell division will have the components that it needs for survival. While some cells, such as those in your digestive tract and those in your skin, are constantly dividing, most of the cells in your body are not. Some of the cells in your body, in fact, are referred to as amitotic. They do not grow at all, or grow at incredibly slow speeds. When cells leave the cell cycle in the G0 or GAP0 phase, they stop dividing. This occurs in many cells when no cell division is required or no cells have been damaged and need repair. This lack of cell division is referred to as quiescence, which means a state of inactivity or dormancy. Cells that have unregulated cell reproduction that don't enter a state of quiescence when they should can sometimes cause different forms of cancer. As was mentioned earlier, there are two main components of the cell cycle, and those were interphase and the mitotic phase. The mitotic phase is the period of the cell cycle in which the nucleus and the rest of the cell divide. Again, there are two separate videos entitled Mitosis and Meiosis that deal with the mitotic phase. That is the end of this video describing the cell cycle. If you are interested in learning about any other topics related to cell reproduction or any other themes of biology, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.